Welcome back everybody to my OSAT Iron Man account. As you can see, unfortunately we got trash from the Lucky Impling, but I am expecting to get a few more this episode, so hopefully we get something good from those. If you are new here, then welcome. I'm currently grinding out 99 Hunter. And for those of you that have been here a while, I've recently released membership for my channel. And if you can become a member and support this channel, then you will get early access to my episodes. And you also get a lot of other benefits like members exclusive content and polls. And you can also get a shout out at the end of each episode. So if you can help support the channel, then thank you very much. If you can't become a member, don't worry, you won't miss out on any content. I'll still release episodes like I'm doing now. As always, if you like the video, then please leave a like. And if you've not subscribed yet, then get your ass subscribed. In this episode, unfortunately, all I've got to do now is catch Red Chin Chompers to 99. So that's what I'm going to get doing. But as you well know, I can catch every impling now. So I'm going to make sure I catch all the implings I see. Don't worry, it's going to be entertaining, I promise. Right, so we've got a medium casket. Before I open this, I'm just going to run through what gear I'd like before I start my range training. In the previous episode, I briefly explained that I'm not going to do range training unless I get some certain items from Clue Scrolls. So I've made a dream gear list before I start training range. So to explain briefly, the top row are the minimum items I want before I start training range. I want a magic short bow over a rune crossbow just because it's easier to get arrows than bolts. But with the fairly new Soul Wars updates, the spells of war from Soul Wars make it a lot easier to get bolts on Iman now. The skill cape can be swapped out with a god cape but then as you might know i'll need to train prayer before i can wear that god cape so a skill cape is just as good you might be wondering why a coif is up there well you can't get a coif unless you've unlocked champions guild or the ranging guild or if you make one so i want to try and get a coif as well before i start training range obviously the robin hood hat would be better there but a coif is a lot easier to get as always the black di chaps are very important and i'll also be able to do the horror from the deep quest so the zami book is also an ideal item as I've said before, it's going to be very hard to complete a hard casket on this account, so I'm going to have to be very lucky with my implings in the near future. Oof, it would have been nice if that were ranger boots. The Guffitz page is actually pretty nice, but the rest is trash. Dragon Dagger plus plus, that's interesting. I feel quite bad for stealing that guy's dragon implant, but it's a dog eat dog world in Pura Puro. I've spent multiple hours in there and had a lot of dragon implants stolen off me, so it's about time I got one. Also, from the magpie implant, we get black dehyde. Not bad. Okay, so we've got a hard clue that we can do the first step of. As I mentioned previous episode, there's only a 5% chance I can complete the first step of a hard clue. So in reality, there's less than 1% chance I can complete a hard clue, but let's do it anyway. Look at all these boys, want a piece of my ass. I'm just going to slip in and out, and then I'm going to go for that dragon implant at Lumbridge. Shout out for Wannabe Waldo for calling this dragon implant out. And um, what do we get? Dragonstone tips again. I I've got loads of these and I don't need them. So just looking at the hard clue, I can actually do the next step. So let's get ourselves to the grand tree. So I'll be very surprised if we can do this next step. Let's have a look. Yeah, Zamorak Wizard, I can't do that because I can't get any combat XP as you know. So I'm going to drop this. 
So just looking at all the chins we've got so far, we've got 11.8 mil in chins. So what I'm going to do is see how many we've got by the end of this episode. I just want to test out my medium clue scroll completion rate on this account at the moment. So what I'm going to do is go to Puro Puro and then fill up on eclectic implings and then bank them and then fill up again and see how many I can get. Unfortunately, I've got a pretty short time frame because... If you didn't know, sister crop circles, they only appear for 30 minutes and then they move location. So basically I've got 30 minutes to collect as many eclectic implings as I can. So I'll see you guys there. So this is the first clue scroll of the bunch. I managed to get three trips, so I got about 74 eclectic implings. I could have definitely got four if I had used the Xerox Talisman to teleport to a bank and then teleported back to the crop circle with my Chronicle, but I didn't think of that until the last run. Okay, so let's see if we can do this next step. Now, unfortunately we can't. Pretty much every step that I have to wear something, I can't do, so I'm gonna have to drop this clue. So just opening the rest of the implings and I've got two clues that I can't do, but unfortunately on this account, I can't really juggle clues because the distance is just too far for me to walk and I believe teleporting resets the steps anyway, so there's no chance I'm carrying all these all the way over Gillinor. So I'm not gonna waste my time juggling clues on this account. So it looks like we've got a step that we can do. This tribe's daddy wants a piece of my ass. Looks like we can do the next step, so I'm just gonna teleport out of here, make sure I don't die from the poison. <laughs> right, let's carry on. So it looks like this step is in West Ardoin. I know that I can start Plague City on this account and I can actually get into West Ardoin, but I can't go any further than that. So that's what I'm gonna do now. So that is it for the eclectic implings. Unfortunately, we only got one casket, so we're at a speed of about one casket an hour, which sucks. And from this clue scroll, we get some purple sweets, which is always nice. And we also get a honorable blessing. Honorable, honorable, honorable. honorable. I think you're trying to say honorable. Shut up! Hey, I'm sorry. So it's about time I got some experience in this episode. As you can see, I've only got 39k XP from all the implings I've been catching. So what I'm going to do is get over to Red Chins and get some gains. 
Okay, so we're here at the chin spot. If you didn't see last episode, I learned how to free tick with the snow globe. It's not as good as traditional free tick methods, but it increases the XP gains quite a lot. So I'm gonna be doing this pretty much for the rest of the grind. So what I'm gonna do is bring you guys back at any milestones or if anything happens. There is a Dr. Jackal event. If you didn't know, if you've got a certain herb in your inventory and you have this event, then it'll trade you for a certain potion. And at the moment, I'm collecting up a couple of attack potions. That's because I want to kill a few NPCs in the near future with my Iron Dagger Poisoned, which I got quite a few episodes ago. So what I'm going to do is use these attack potions to make sure I get a hit. Shout out to yours truly for calling this Dragon Impling out. And let's see what we get. Dragon Bones, nice one, we need those. That's probably saved me about 40 minutes of grinding in the future, so that's always welcome. There is 90 Hunter at the Red Chin Chompers. As you can see, we've got about 470k XP here, so we've been here for a few hours already. I missed the record button, but a Dragon Implant just flew by my head, so I had to go and catch it. So let's see what's in this one. Dragonstone Bolt Tips again. Shout out to Effie Batty Boy. Hey. The word is batty boy. For calling this dragon implant out, let's see what we get. Ooh, glories, that is ideal. That is another item ticked off the dream gear list, so that's great. And there is 91 Hunter at the Red Chin Chompers. It's actually a really nice grind, to be honest, because even with AFK methods, you can get about 85 to 90k XP an hour. So I'm actually enjoying this grind, to be honest. So what I've been doing is just collecting implings. What I normally do is in the morning, if I can log on, I'll go to a specific impling spot, which I'll not reveal this episode because I want to use it quite a lot. I'll probably reveal it next episode. And then I've just been cycling through all the worlds and catching any implings there. So I'm just going to open these impling jars and let's see what we get. Hopefully we get something good. So there is a first medium clue, but obviously we can't do it because we can never do a medium clue. So I'll have to drop it. Moving on to the nature implings. Most of it is trash. Don't really need it. Moving on to the magpie implings. Hey, look, there's a crystal key. So that is one uncut dragonstone banked. Moving on to the ninja implings. What do we get? Ooh, onyx bolts. Interesting. I don't think two is going to help me out much, but I could use it for something. <laughs> Dragon Claws, not Dragon Claws, Rune Claws. They're pretty useless, but pretty interesting at the same time. And then finally, let's move on to the Dragon Implings. If you don't know by now, all I really want from these is Dragon Bones. So let's see if we can get some Dragon Bones, please. Ooh, more Glories, not bad. And the Dragonstone Bolt Tips. So I'm not going to run through all the implings that I opened. I'm just going to play some footage in the background. I did get a lot of medium clues throughout this grind, but obviously from working out from previous episodes, there's only a 25% chance I can do the first step of a medium clue. And then there's less than 5% chance I can complete a medium clue. So they're very rare that I complete them. The magic log stack is looking pretty nice. As most of you probably know, you need 12 magic logs to start the desert's treasure quest. So that's what I'm aiming for. I've also got a few hard clues now and again. Again, but I can rarely do the first step on those so they're pretty boring. I've just got myself a beginner casket. Let's see what we get. Absolute trash. There we have it, 92 Hunter. As you can see, we're at about 1.8 million Hunter XP this episode. Okay, so as you can see, there is an update happening very soon. I believe it is the Shooting Star update. 
but I've made my way here to the Mage Arena Bank because if you didn't know, what happens after an update is all the stocks reset in a shop. So what I'm going to try and do is stock up on Law Runes, Cosmic Runes and Nature Runes for my next grind. Okay, so I'm going to call it there. As you can see, we didn't get many Cosmic Runes, they were pretty much bought out by the time I logged back in. But we did manage to get quite a few Law Runes and Nature Runes. What I need is about 7k Nature Runes and about 3k Law Runes for the MTA grind. Because my next 99 is going to be Magic, if you didn't already know. <laughs> No way, I just got the pet. I just got the pet. Apologies for the audio there, it was pretty late at night and I didn't really know what to say. But yeah, I got the pet, and it's the second pet on the account. I'm just missing the thieving pet so far, which is really good because I've got a lot of thieving XP that I need to gain in the future, so I've still got a pretty high chance of getting that pet. So we're on track for having all the pets in the game. That is 93 Hunter at Red Chins. I think our Red Chin stack is up to about 20k now, but I've not looked for a while. Shout out to Student Loan for calling this Dragon Implant out. Let's see what's in this Dragon Implant. Dragon darts, that's an interesting one. They will probably be very useful against Jad when I try to get my first fire cape, so that's nice. And there is 94 Hunter at the Red Chins. What I'm going to do now is just try and get the best XP rates that I can. So I'm going to go hard for as long as I can and see how much XP I get. So there we go, I was getting about 130k XP an hour, which is pretty good for red shins. Like I said before, if I do the AFK method, I'm getting about 85 to 90k XP an hour. Shout out to this dude for just randomly killing all the red shins that run away from me. And there we have it guys, 95 Hunter at the red shins. I've gained nearly 4 million XP this episode, so I think this is a good place to call it. So what I'm going to do is get myself to the bank. I've got quite a few implings that I need to open, so I'm going to open those. And then I'm also going to see how many red chins we've got so far. Let this be another night To tie around my bed at night I know I've lost the fight to erase your face, my mind Awake, I lie here staring up beyond the sky oh.